What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the After Prison Show Comedy Club. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. This is only our second night doing this, and wow. I do have to say, we do have a little bit better of a showing tonight. I see one, two, three, about eight people here. So go ahead and give yourselves a round of applause for being here. Again, this is only our second time doing this, and I figured we need to do this with a bang. And I thought, what better way to do that than to discuss a topic that I know might be heavy on a lot of your minds out there. And if it's not, well, maybe I can intrigue and interest you when I tell you that we're going to be talking about the TV shows that prisoners watch. You know, you've probably seen it on MSNBC, Locked Up Raw, or any other type of locked up TV show, or maybe even pictures or videos on YouTube. You know that prisoners, for the most part, they have TVs, or at least access to those TVs. Whether it be in a day room or a common area, inside a pod or a cell block or a housing unit, there are, for the most part, TVs while locked up. And have you ever sat there and wondered to yourself, Sorry, I was trying to do a rendition of what it would be like to wonder to yourself. But if you ever wondered to yourself, I mean, what exactly do prisoners watch on TV? Now, you know, we did a video like this a long time ago. I would even like to include parts of that video here just to give you guys a little flashback to it. But we can't. We can't. That video is so demonetized. So demonetized. I mean, that video is beyond demonetized. So there's no way in hell I'll be including any clips of that. If you would like to go back and search for this video, it is called TV Shows That Will Get You While Locked Up. I mean, that video is so demonetized, I'm scared to even tell you the title of it. <laughs> wow. You guys actually laughed at one of my jokes. I just might actually have a career in comedy after all. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But it was in that video that we discussed TV shows that you really should not watch while locked up. And I got to assure you, I mean, that was probably one of the most horrendous videos I've ever done, seen. It's, it's so cringy. It's, it's a cringe level like 2000. For me to go back and look at that, I mean, ugh. You know, it's like anything in life, whether you're an artist or whatever, you go back and you look at like your very beginning work and it almost makes you... <laughs> almost makes you throw up just a little bit in your mouth. <laughs> oh my God, you guys... Are you guys on something out there in the audience? Because I don't think these jokes are, are that funny. Uh, Cody, who's doing security for this venue, we might need to get some little tinkle cups for the audience. <laughs> oh man, I'm... I'm killing it tonight, I'm winning. This venue is gonna have to pay me a little extra for all these laughs. But again, in this video, we are gonna be talking about TV shows that prisoners watch while locked up. And as we dive into this video, I do wanna start off with a few footnotes about the whole TV while locked up topic. You know, it's probably not hard to imagine that while locked up, no matter where you are, every place is going to be different. And depending upon whether you are, whether it's a jail, whether it's a prison, whatever state you're in, whether... I mean, there are so many different variables that go into this. Some places are going to offer a lot more channels than others. Some places aren't going to offer very many channels at all. Hell, some places might not even offer cable! I can't imagine anything worse than being locked up in a place that doesn't have cable. <laughs> You're getting it. Well, I'm telling you, Cody, we gotta hurry up with them cups, man, because this audience, they're going in. They're enjoying this a lot, and I just wanna say I'm very thankful for that first and foremost. I, I never thought that I was actually that funny, but I'm guessing I was wrong? <laughs> Anyways, again, you know, depending on where you're at, different places are gonna have more channels than other places. Some places might not even have cable. Other places might have a limited selection of cable channels. I've been to a few different places that only have like ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, ESPN, Lifetime, TNT, like three different PBS channels. Who is watching PBS while locked up? Let's just be honest. Well, actually I did, I did. Bob Ross used to come on PBS, and that was one of my personal favorite shows considering I was a painter while locked up. Not a lot of other prisoners were watching that, however. You gotta be careful while watching PBS while locked up. Guys might try to think that you're soft. So you better prove to them real quick, Hey look, I'm watching Bob Ross, but I'm trained to go! I'm trained! 
Leave me alone, I don't watch PBS. You got a problem with that? I like to watch PBS, public broadcast service. Ain't nothing wrong with that. PBS goes hard. Yeah, I watched PBS, I'm sorry. So like three different PBS channels and like of course four different religious channels. Lord, the selection was really limited. But then on the flip side, I've been to a facility that had over 80 channels on cable. I mean, damn. Had this facility had women there, your boy might not have never had to come home. Never! You gonna lock me up in a place that got 80 channels? And if it had some women, I ain't had no problem doing the rest of my life in that place. But they didn't, so thank God I was released from there. Now there are some other things that we need to throw into this real quick as well. Such as there are some major rules when it comes to watching TV while locked up. There's some major rules, and if you break these rules, you're gonna have some problems. I'm just telling you, you're gonna have some problems. And some of these rules, they're as follows. And you know, when the TV is on in the day room or the common area where prisoners will be oftentimes grouped up watching whatever program, if you're over there in that area, it doesn't even matter if you're watching TV, you could be on the phone, because a lot of times the phone's gonna be near the TV. You're best to keep it down. Because these guys, they try to watch their programs. And if they can't hear their programs because you arguing with your old lady out there on the streets because she out there with Jody, uh, let me tell you something. You're gonna have some problems. Because in a lot of cases, these TVs that are in these common areas or in these day rooms, they're controlled by the guard. And they like to keep the volume extra low. They don't want you to even really be able to hear that TV. And the strategic reasoning for why they do this, they do this because they know if they keep that volume low, then there's a good potential they're going to try to keep you low as well. As in the noise. Like you won't be talking as much. You won't be hooting and hollering as much. But you know, a lot of times that doesn't work at all. Because guys are still going to be loud. And these rules that I'm mentioning, I mean, they really only apply to certain prisoners. Prisoners who don't have a lot of clout inside of the housing unit aren't the toughest, baddest, biggest, strongest prisoners there. Fight game on 10 million. And if you don't fall into one of those categories that I just mentioned, the biggest, baddest, toughest prisoner locked up, there's some other things you got to keep in mind as well. Such as, don't just think. You gonna get up and change the channel. I mean, that shit just ain't happening. That is absolutely preposterous. That, that's unheard of. Oh my God, did you just see Timmy? Timmy just changed the channel. These boys in here watching a Lifetime movie and Timmy gonna change the channel and put it on a religious service. Timmy gonna need that religious service too when he get back to his bunk. Cause them boys, they coming. They coming. You ain't just gonna change that channel. Thinking you run nothing. You don't run nothing. TVs in a lot of cases are run by either A, the guards, B, whoever cleans up, and a lot of times that doesn't even matter. You know, they may have these rules that say whichever cell cleans up gets to watch whatever they want to watch, but in a lot of cases that just don't matter at all. Because in most cases, these TVs, they're ran by your alpha males, your biggest baddest prisoners, your gangs, whoever has the most superiority inside those cell blocks or housing units. And you know something else that you're best not to do? You're best not Stand up and block that TV. When that boy's watching that Lifetime movie, you best get out the damn way because they might miss a shot. They might miss a scene of a girl bent over, something that they can mentally store inside of their mind and take that with them later to the back shower. <laughs> Y'all will laugh at anything. I can certainly go for that. Because again, you know, I am an aspiring comedian. Not really. Just wanted to change it up a little bit today, so I hope you're rocking with this. And you know, in case I didn't make it clear enough, but if you do break any of these rules, talk while the TV's on and these prisoners can't hear whatever they're watching, stand up and block the TV, or get up and change the channel without permission, without going through the proper procedures to get that channel on that TV changed, huh, let me tell you something. There's gonna be some repercussions for that. Change will be coming down the pike. And when I mean the pike, well, I mean you're gonna get beat up. Simple and plain. You probably, potentially, in all likelihood, could face a beatdown for that. It's just that simple. And you know, things get even a little more crazy with these TVs that are inside of these housing units in these common areas, these day rooms. You'll have these prisoners who are absolute psychotic. I mean, some of these guys will even have a nickname, Psycho. Met quite a few psychos in my time, and let me tell you, only half of them actually fit the bill. And those that did, believe me. They were crazy. But you'll have these crazy prisoners who don't care about nothing and especially don't care about that damn TV. And because of that, I've seen on many an occasion 
Well, not many, but I've seen on a few occasions where some of these crazy prisoners will absolutely just black out and will either try to smash the TV or will try to dump a cup of water on the TV in an effort to absolutely destroy that box that sits up there in that corner that so many prisoners use to help them do their time. You can't imagine how many guys bid, how many guys use that TV as a method of helping them cope and also do their time. And when you have these guys who absolutely freak out, dump a cup of water on the TV or try to smash the TV, grab the cord out of the wall, cut the cord off the TV, whatever they do in an effort to break that TV, what you are witnessing in that moment is a guy going absolutely kamikaze because he don't care about nothing else. And he knows that while doing that, there's a high likelihood he's going to have to fight multiple or many prisoners inside of that housing unit because you just messed it up for everybody. And again, I've seen this happen at least a few times. And the repercussions that follow with that, I mean, they're not pretty. I've seen one time where a guy did it and absolutely nothing happened to him because he was that damn crazy. But then again, every other time I saw this happen, whoever did that absolutely got stomped out. Got smashed just like that TV that they just smashed themselves. And you know, to go back to that very first video that I ever did about TV shows that would get you while locked up, if you have your own personal TV, or even if you're just out there in the day room and you're trying to get a TV show on the TV, there are some TV shows that you just don't watch while locked up. And we discussed that in that previous video that was done over a year ago. But just to touch on that just a little bit, I mean, Disney Channel, that's a big no-no. Kid shows, get caught watching Disney Channel or some kid shows if you want to. Whether out there in the day room or on your own personal TV, if you're at a prison that actually allows you to have one of those. Because if you do get caught watching those shows, the first thing that's going to happen is everybody who sees you watching that show, they're automatically going to suspect that you're into some bad things. And that's only going to lead to you having a whole lot of problems. So don't do that. Don't do that. But it's with mentioning all of this that why don't we go ahead and move on to what prisoners are actually watching on TV, whether it's on their own personal TV or on that TV out there in the day room or the common area. And again, if this was ever a question that you wondered about yourself, well, well, let me just tell you, you came to the right place. Could we about to address that right now? The first TV show or program that guys like to watch while locked up is without a doubt, most certainly sports. Sports rules any facility Ever. In a day room or a common area, sports absolutely trumps anything. The reason for this is because guys gamble on sports. Football, basketball, baseball in the postseason, maybe. Hockey, not really at all. But football and basketball, especially when those games are on, ain't nothing else jumping on that TV. Try to change that channel if you want to. I swear to God. You try to change that channel, you better go put your shoes on right now. Because you're about to get stomped out. Sports is number one in prison. Sports is just like the TV. It is another thing that guys use to absolutely help them do their time, to help them cope with the time that they have to serve. Sports is something that takes their mind off of everything else, the outside world. They don't have to think about what their girl's out there doing right now. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Let's go, Patriots. Let's go. Sports, number one. Ain't nothing else happening when a football or basketball game is on. And if you're a prisoner who doesn't like sports, well, number one, you're already suspect in every prisoner's book. I mean, you're suspect. You don't like sports. Oh, you like to watch cricket? You're going to need to write a note to the guard and tell him you ain't safe in here. You got to go. Just that simple. If you're a prisoner who doesn't like sports while locked up, your time is not going to be very pleasant at all. Because when a Super Bowl is on, or an NBA final or playoffs is on, <laughs> think you're going to go to sleep early. Think you're going to be able to watch whatever TV program you want to watch on your TV and be able to hear that. Because I can attest to personally how loud and crazy it can get, especially during a Super Bowl game. Perfect example would be New England Patriots versus the Seattle Seahawks. Why didn't they run the ball? Question I don't really care to ever have answered.
considering I bet over $100 on that game while locked up. And when Russell Wilson did decide to throw that ball for that nice little interception by Malcolm Butler, when the game was all but over for New England, oh, Joe took his plastic chair that he was sitting in, picked it up over his head, and threw it across the housing unit. And I can't even demonstrate to you how much more crazy I got after that. I take sports really serious while locked up. Just to be honest, like most any other prisoner, when their team is playing or when sports is on, ain't no quiet time. It don't even matter if we can't hear the TV because we become the TV. We become whatever's going on. We got play-by-play -play commentators. Oh man, look at this motherfucker. Why ain't gonna run the ball? Why ain't he gonna pass the ball? Man, throw your flag! Throw your flag! What you wanna do, man? What you wanna do? You ain't the referee. What you think you Roger Goodell? What you the commissioner? Sports. The number one thing on TV in prison. Number two. This is gonna come as a shock to a lot of people, but it's the truth. Soap operas. You wouldn't believe it unless you've seen it. But for the love of God, for so much time that I've spent myself locked up, I most certainly have seen it and seen the large number of prisoners at that who will absolutely shut down shop at 12 or 12.30, whichever time the Young and the Restless comes on, and they are glued to their TV. I can't really go too deep into this because I wasn't one of these prisoners myself. But... There's about 40% of prisoners, I don't know if this is a true statistic or not, maybe I'm just making it up, but it sounds about right. But you gotta imagine about 40% of the guys who are locked up, they be liking them daytime soap operas. And there ain't nothing you can tell them about that. You can't tell them, why are you watching soap operas in prison? Because there's a good possibility they're gonna try to fight you if you try to talk sh about the young and the restless, or general hospital, or days of our lives. Talk trash about any of programs if you want to. Might not end too well for you. Just saying. Guys take those daytime soap operas super serious. And one reason for that is because they come on five days a week. Five days a week, you can tune in for a brand new episode. I mean, I didn't care for soap operas, but that's a pretty sweet deal if you think about it. I mean, that's almost like after prison show. Every day, there's a new damn episode. And a damn good one at that if you ask me personally. Y'all like that? Thank you. Thank you. I'm actually blushing. Stop, please. The third TV program that I want to tell you about the guys watch while locked up, this is a double whammy. This is like a two for one right here. But Jerry Springer and Maury Povich. Wow. Are you guys related to one of them or something? You guys are cheering harder for those TV shows than you are for me. Hey, Cody, get ready to kick all these people out of here. I'm in my feelings now. I'm in, I got a case of the feels. I don't like that. Y'all should cheer that loud for me. I'm the one up here telling y'all about this. Jerry Springer and Maury Povich, hands down, these are some popular TV shows in prison. And the reason for that is because on both of these shows, you're guaranteed some crazy, crazy entertainment. Hell, a lot of prisoners, myself included, unfortunately, can relate to either one, if not both of these TV shows. For a long time, old Joe's life was exactly like Jerry Springer. Hell, I even had a Maury Povich moment, like twice. Not just one time, twice. Could have went on that damn show twice. So yeah, a lot of guys will watch this show because it reminds them of their own damn life. Or they'll watch this show simply for the entertainment aspect of it. But more likely, they watch it because there's a good possibility they're going to be talking about some Jaja. They're going to be showing some potential daytime shots, which a daytime TV shot really isn't much of anything. But it's still just enough where they could mentally take a screenshot and take that with them later to the back shower. Hey, yo, back shower, you good? No! I, no, no! Hey, give me a couple of minutes. Give me, give me a couple of minutes. But yeah, Jerry Springer and Maury Povich, definitely two fan favorites. And you know, one episode of the Jerry Springer show that guys love to see is those episodes where Jerry does, is it really a guy or is it a girl? I think Maury does the same thing as well. But those are actually some pretty popular shows while locked up because you'll have like the entire housing unit almost betting on if it's a guy or a girl. Nah, man, nah. That's a real girl right there. Look at that. That's a real girl. It's a man. And you knew that. Sort of like all of the mans that you see locked up in here that think they're women. 
Here's a show that you might not have thought the guys locked up might watch, but they do. In fact, old Joe used to watch this quite a bit. Anytime this would ever come on, you want to talk about some shots? Hell, this could come on during daytime TV. It don't even matter. You're still almost guaranteed for a camera slip up. In fact, that's probably the only reason you're watching this anyway. You don't care who wins or who loses. You're watching this, hoping that cameraman will slip up and show you something they shouldn't be showing on TV. And what I'm referring to is women's college volleyball or Olympic volleyball, either one will do. But you got half-naked women jumping up and down at a volleyball net trying to spike the ball. And everybody during this becomes an absolute volleyball expert. Oh no, that ball was out. That ball was out. She crossed the line when she served that. That ain't no good. That's a tech. She touched the net. They ain't getting that point. That's a net ball. I played a lot of volleyball throughout my time, so I know a thing or two about it as well. But let's just be honest, nobody's watching this for whoever wins or who loses. It doesn't matter if USA's playing Brazil, God, let me tell you. That Brazil team? Or one of them Swedish teams? It don't matter if the NBA Finals is on. There's certain exceptions for everything while locked up. There's a rule for a rule, and there's a sub-rule, and there's a code, and there's an ABC to that. There are exemptions. Women's volleyball, when you've got a foreign country on playing, two foreign countries at that. Let me tell you something. Everything stops. And it also gets pretty quiet inside of the housing unit as well. I never really was able to understand or comprehend what was going on, why it would get so quiet when women's volleyball would be on. I guess everybody was just concentrating. Everybody was their own little line judge. So to say. No pun intended. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know if that joke was actually going to work tonight. Glad to see that it did. I'll be using that moving forward. So thank you. I am also testing a little bit of new material here as well. So I'm glad to know that you guys are very receptive to it. Just don't be receptive if you ever go to prison. It's not a good place to be receptive. <laughs> that worked too. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Cody, call Jimmy Kimmel, man. See if we can get on the, uh, whatever show he's on. I don't even know who that guy is. I just... Saw him on a trending page on YouTube. Here's another absolute mind-boggling TV show that guys like to watch while locked up. And let me tell you something. This isn't just one TV show that I'm going to be telling you with this. There's a couple of them. And I'm talking about police, law, lawyer, detective shows. I'm talking about The First 48. That is a super popular show while locked up. Even just as popular, Law and Order, CSI. Sometimes even cops. Then again, sometimes cops, cops is hit or miss. You could be watching cops at some places and that's okay. You could be watching cops at other places and guys are ready to fight and kill you over. You gotta really test the waters if you're into that type of TV show. Now you may wonder to yourself, like, why in the hell would guys want to watch the first 48 while locked up? I mean, for the love of God, they're already locked up themselves. Why do they want to sit there and watch somebody else get locked up? Why do they want to watch CSI? I mean, this is a TV show completely about crime scene investigators. Law and order. I mean, law and order is all about locking people up. Law and order. And I mean, don't get me wrong, if that is what you think, those are some valid points to raise. However, let me tell you something. Guys watch these shows 10%, maybe even less than 10%, for the entertainment aspect of it. The reason why these shows are so popular while locked up is because these shows are almost like going and getting you a criminal justice degree. No bullshit. Guys will watch these shows and think after an episode of Law & Order they just graduated from law school like they some Harvard alumni. <laughs> Thank you. I worked on that one all night. I'm glad to see that one worked. They'll watch CSI and think they some freaking forensic experts. Have you ever seen a guy locked up make his very own fingerprint kit? It's for real. You want to talk about some guys doing some telling while locked up? You see a guy making a fingerprinting kit? You best not deal with that guy at all. Hey man, what you doing over there? What is that? Why are you crushing up those black colored pencils? And why are you putting all those Q-tips together? What, what, what you making? And where'd you get that clear tape from? What is that? A fingerprinting kit? Hey, I... I I gotta go. I'm telling you, these guys will watch these shows while locked up and they think they know everything. If you've ever heard the term jailhouse lawyer and wonder, what kind of credentials do you have? You're telling me that you can help me with my case, but you're locked up wearing the same color jumpsuit that I'm wearing. I don't really believe that you're a lawyer. Do you have any verification that can prove you have any kind of qualifications to help represent me? Did you just tell me you've seen every single episode of Law & Order, SVU, and CSI Miami? What is your retainer? How much are you gonna charge me? I need you on my case right now. So, yeah, that's part of the reason why these shows are so popular while locked up. Cause a lot of prisoners think it's these shows 
that are gonna make them smarter about the law. They're gonna help them the next time they out. The next time they out there in the free world, if they even get another chance out there, while they out there bagging up that little dope, they're gonna have a little flashback in their mind to an episode of SVU that they saw. Wait a minute. I'm reminded of an episode of SVU that I saw where Benson was telling Stabler something. I can't remember. But we should be more careful. Yeah, sorry, that, that joke took a little longer to develop. I should have got to the punchline a lot faster there. It could have been good. I just, I dropped the ball right there, sorry. The next popular type of TV show, let's just go ahead and move on from that bomb of a joke right there. But the next popular type of a TV show that prisoners like to watch, this is another cluster of TV shows under this one umbrella category, reality shows. Reality shows are huge while locked up because again, you've got the opportunity to see you some shots, take you some mental screenshots. You know what you can do with those mental screenshots. But TV shows like Big Brother, Survivor, hell, more importantly, TV shows like Desperate Housewives of wherever. And you know, some of these shows are gonna come on your more premium cable channels. So you might not get a chance to see these. But if you are at a facility that does have some of these premium cable channels like Bravo or TLC or I don't know what other channel reality shows come on. But if you are at a facility that has some of these channels, you'll start seeing prisoners coming out of the woodwork. And they'll start watching shows that you might question, why the hell Hey, yo, why Psycho watching Dance Moms? That's a TV show about little girls. I don't know about Psycho. Or maybe you'll see another prisoner like, is Killer watching Little Women? I ain't even gonna lie, I've watched Little Women. That is an entertaining TV show. If you've never seen it, I highly suggest that you do so. And I mean, it's simply the entertainment value of that show. You ever seen some Little Women fighting? But again, reality shows something super huge that guys like to watch. Shots, there might be a few of those that you get to see, a lot of drama, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. Things that are really relatable to being locked up, except you might potentially have women doing it. Because while locked up, you're gonna see a lot of men doing the exact same thing. Drama, arguing, and then a lot of times fighting as well, trying to kill each other, but yeah. There's a few more shows on this list that I wanna tell you about. I mean, I'm gonna break this thing down for you to the T. And the next category that we're coming up to is drama shows, hardcore shows, the best of the best, the cream of the crop. These are the shows that every prisoner in the housing unit, when these shows are on, if they have their own individual TV, it looks like you're in a Best Buy store. Because every single TV is glued to that channel. For the most part, it's absolutely dead silent in there. You could drop a pin on the ground and you could hear it. One of the very few times you'll ever experience anything like that while locked up. But these TV shows include the likes of like Empire, comes on Channel Fox. Talking about Cookie, pretty popular show while locked up. I used to watch it a little bit, not that much, I gotta be honest. The following, Kevin Bacon and Joe Carroll, I'm gonna tell you right now, this was one of my favorite TV shows. You know, I almost cried when Joe Carroll died. I did. Wouldn't have been a good look for me neither. I mean, I'm trying to keep it together. I'm in prison for God's sakes, watching this guy get, you know, put to death. I got my buddies around me watching it. They're all at my bunk area. We're all watching this. We know this is the episode where Joe Carroll's gonna die. And they're putting Joe Carroll down. Kevin Bacon's right there. And I'm just like, oh God, fight it, Joe, fight it. I'm talking about Joe Carroll and myself at the same time. Guys are looking at me like, Joe, what the, the Joe, Joe, what you doing? You need a tissue? This ain't no Lifetime movie. We don't do no crying during the following. <laughs> it's Joe Carroll, man. I loved him. Best show I ever saw on TV, minus Breaking Bad, Sons of Anarchy. Those two shows are outstanding as well. And if you're at a facility that offers FX or AMC, the channel that those two shows come on, you're going to be doing some hella good time. Because there's a lot of other good shows that come on those channels as well. But drama shows. Top notch while locked up. Guys will plan their whole week around those shows. We know that on Monday, I can't remember exactly what day it was that the following came on, but we know on this one day, that's a better way to put it, we got the following coming on, and then we got Empire coming on, we got Monday Night Football coming on, we got Thursday Night Football, which we can't watch anymore, because they put that on the NFL Network. But we got a whole content lineup for the entire week, and all we gotta do is make it till about six or seven o'clock. And it's TV time. We're gonna meal up, we're gonna eat good, we're gonna watch these shows, we're gonna try not to shed no tears. It's gonna be a good time while locked up. This next one might come as a little bit of a surprise. I'm hoping that it doesn't because it shouldn't be a surprise because this is a great TV show. But it's also a great TV show in prison and that is 
Family Guy. A lot of prisoners in prison love to get them some laughs. And what better way to do so than to laugh at Peter Griffin and Brian and little gay Stewie. Family Guy, absolute classic while locked up. I saw almost every single episode while I was down. Laughter, the best remedy to stop those tears. You know, when you're thinking about those things going on in the outside world that you can't control, thinking about Jody out there laid up with your old lady right now. <laughs> God, why? Why couldn't she just wait for me? Oh man, Brian, he is a funny dog. Funny dog. Brian and Stewie together, best combination ever. Another TV show, another TV program, another thing that comes on TV that guys like a lot. Women's tennis. Just like that college or world volleyball of women. Ain't nobody watching men's volleyball while locked up. You watching men's volleyball or tennis while locked up, you suspect. Unless you got a damn good reason why you're doing so. And the only good reason you could have is, I'm waiting for Serena to come on. That's the only reason I'm watching Federer right now. Whatever his name is. Nadal. I don't know nothing about tennis. All I know is when Serena Williams on there, Ain't nothing else jumping. Again, it could be the Super Bowl. It could be the NBA Finals. When you got them girls up there hitting that tennis racket like, dah, dah, everything else stops. A lot of upskirt shots. A lot of mental screenshots. Hell, you might have guys sitting in front of the TV watching either volleyball or women's tennis or little women. And they got their blanket over their lap. Another rule for the TV room, another thing that you gotta keep in mind. If you're pulling your chair up to the TV area and you notice that there's this one area that's not occupied and there's a guy sitting close to that area, he might be sitting right there, you might have to sit right next to him. But he's sitting there by himself, no other prisoner is sitting around him and he's got his blanket over his lap. Let me just go ahead and tell you, don't sit next to that guy because he's concentrating pretty hard. Gonna need you guys to read between the lines on that one. The final show, final TV program that's most popular in prison that I wanna tell you guys about is the news, without question. Everybody who's locked up, they watch the news, for the most part. Maybe like 99.9% .9 of all prisoners. And there's a number of reasons why prisoners will watch the news. Maybe they wanna see what's going on out there in the free world, the things that they're missing. That was a big part of why I used to watch the news. Maybe they wanna see if anybody they know has gotten locked up. Can't tell you how many times I've seen people I know getting locked up. And not just people I know, but people who have left from prison only a few months earlier, maybe less than a year, maybe a year, getting locked right back up for something way worse. Maybe a murder charge or a hell of a lot of drug charges. Seen that many times. Guys will also watch the news because they want to see who's getting locked up. They want to see who's getting arrested. And if they know that person, that just might be their get out of jail free card. It's the truth, especially in jail, especially when guys are still fighting their cases. News? Everybody wants to see the news. Everybody wants to see who's getting locked up for a lot of different reasons. They want to see who's coming into that jail especially and what their charges are. You see a guy coming into the same jail where you're at who's got some really bad charges, maybe they involve kids, won't even make it past the gate coming into the cell block. Seen it happen many times. Many times. There's a lot of reasons why guys watch the news. There really is. Or maybe they just want to see what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. Can't tell you how many times I used to watch the news for that. We got a soccer game tomorrow. I need to make sure it ain't raining. I'm trying to get me some wreck. I'm tired of being locked up in this building. I want to go out there and football tackle some guys on the soccer field. So I hope it's sunny. Or maybe they got a special weather girl or traffic woman they want to see. A lot of guys would become infatuated with women on TV. Weather women, traffic women, talk show host, Wendy Williams. <laughs> Lord. I don't know how you could think she's attractive. But again, what I've shared with you tonight are 10 different types of TV shows or genres of television that guys while locked up enjoy watching and why. And with that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, I had a lot of fun being here tonight on night number two of the After Prison Show Comedy Club. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did so, go ahead and leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day.